Hmm. Yep, okay. We are now up. All right. Hello, Jay. Hello. Uh, how are you doing this week? Oh, I'm doing just fine. Good. Good. Looking forward to some refactoring to do's. We are we are getting towards the the end of I, this thing. I think it's starting to feel like nothing's all that bad. Mm -hmm. And I think we were nice enough to leave a to do for ourselves. So many. Let's see. Is there so many? Yes, we did. Well, there's a lot of stuff here we can do, but I have to say, separate the col column. Col col ugh, let's try it again. Column row. That's got to be at the height of my annoyance. Mm -hmm. So um, before, before we do this, let's talk about how you want to do it. So I sort of see two ways. One is a cell can have a position, and the other is a cell can extend a position. What, oh. what do you think would be better? Yeah, have a have a position. Okay. All right. Are you good? Are you sure that's a good intermediate step? Like, I agree that's where we want to end up. Okay. But I'm worried, uh, like, if we have a have a, there's a whole bunch of things we sort of have to change. Yeah. Um, I think have a all at once is, uh, it's going to leave us in an unbuildable state for yeah. a period, and we like small increments. But I, it's not as scary as many others because it feels so mechanical. But if you said, like, oh, let's do a five-minute time box, I don't think we could get back to buildable in five minutes. Yeah, you just scared me more, Jay. <laughs> I think the intention there was to say, this is something we can do. <laughs> and then what you just, he just made me say like, what are you thinking? <laughs> so how about, how about we, we take it through the intermediate ex, uh, extract method or extract position and then pull it to a... Okay. You know what we can do is right now we have the, the public interface from this class is mostly about these two. I mean, there's a constructor or whatever, but Agreed. these could become properties that return. So we could contain a location and could return location.column, location.row here. So that would still be has a, but it would be incremental. I have to say, I don't like this idea, but I'm going to try it because my hunch, like a lot of times when I don't like something, it's better to not like it with data. <laughs> um, we're branched already, right? Like you made a branch right. for today. Um, let's try it, see how we like it. And if at some point I might just pull the plug okay. and, and reverse back. But yeah, let's try that. <clears throat> uh, Location? Let's build it forward though. So... No, 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 yeah. So let's, uh, we're going to start just with a uh, get location. You want a property here? Yeah. Location, position. Yeah, location is good. I like it. And right now it's going to return a new location of column row. Mm, which one comes first? Row column. Yeah, what you said. And then let's create that. And hold on to both of those as public fields. You can just click on row and do it. You're that. right. Yep. And introduce an auto property column. All right, and that's dead code, but it should obviously build and work with no problems. There's a new thing. Record? That's you not being that? used. Yep. No, I mean, like, there's a new C but, sharp feature for this. Oh. Okay. Uh, but I don't know if we like need to switch versions or something. 
Uh, if you click on location and just say uh, quick fix, does it do something? No. No. So rec they're called record types. Okay, let's are... uh, do a quick Google for record types. It's always good to learn new new language feature. So they have uh, equality uh, and hash code and all that, which is great. But I don't know which C sharp nine or uh, five is that? No, that's core three, right? You'll need .NET five and C sharp nine. All right. So we may have these. We just may have to turn them on. Well, let, let's let's try using it for a second. So show me the thing again. How do you actually make a record type? And what what is a record type? It's a class that has value semantics. So um, it has it overrides equality and get hash code. In so like literally, like you can just do that public record daily temperature. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's try it. There's like a pure data class. That's what it's saying. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, well, we do not have five installed. <laughs> I'm glad we're on a branch. This might. Be... <laughs> yes. Very bad. God. Yeah. Okay. Like I feel like uh, downloading and installing things is. Like, yeah. Uh, I, I, this is not a good idea. Like I, I want this thing, and I don't want to. I don't, I don't to think want about CI much, and, and how I to think about it. Yeah. You don't. Yeah. I don't want it this much. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, so we got location. What I do want, though, before we do commit, is if we scroll up to row, I now want to redo row. So let's make that, it's a read only int right now. Let's change it to a, a property, a, a value. Total property, yeah. And curlies. And our git, I actually want not to auto. Uh, but I want, oh, this is tricky. Yeah, huh. one step at a time, right? Uh, I, I wanted to wire this in. Okay. Um, well, what we can do is change these two lines to set, to set a, location. a location. Let's do that. New location, row, column. And then let's take row to get to say location dot row. And then I want to do Please that to. to column. And I think that this should work. So let's find out. In crunch doesn't seem to be crunchy. Yeah, I think I agree. Let's push the big red button. This should be a big red button. Oh, it should be a big red button. I read it yesterday. There was a photo of just with this big green button. And then around it was the text, you know you want to. <laughs> I'm going to restart Visual Studio. I'm good with that. Turning it off and on is the best tech support I know. Hmm. It looks like now, like in crunch is not enabled. Oh, we just gotta wait. This is my waiting hands. Okay. Right. <laughs> I've learned this habit when mobbing, where if I'm the typist and the timer goes off, as soon as I hear the timer, I put up my hands and on camera, so everybody can see my hands. I am done with my time slot. Yeah. And I used to think that was a great uh, behavior, and it's built become a habit.
But I actually have to do one more thing, which is switch over to the timer so we can see who is next. Because we're waiting for that information. In the Python mob this weekend, we, uh, we finally automated switching keyboard. So hmm. like as it rotates, it will go into Dvorak when it's my turn and out of Dvorak oh, nice. when it's no longer. Red is yeah. so not what I want to see right now. I finally uninstalled uh, the Dvorak keyboard from my computer after experimenting with that with you. Because every time <laughs> I log in, it would switch to Dvorak. Yeah. Yeah. Shift. Control there. shift would do it. Okay. Well, it's, it's green now. That's good. Green is good. Uh, do you... I don't care about this. Resharper is suggesting using expression body properties here. I don't care about that at all. We're going to inline this in a second anyways. Yeah. But uh, let's do a commit. What is this? Um, extract class. I'm good with that. Okay, now I want an inline column and inline row. Oh, we can just really okay. inline. Should I do both at the same time? Uh, you might as well commit one at a time. Okay. It strengthens our habits. I had, Nicholas was saying the other day that... Um, something is a habit when it requires more energy not to do it than to do it. And, and that made me realize that some of the things that I was thinking, like I've now established a habit are actually sort of like, they're not quite habits yet. They're like behaviors that are repetitive, but they haven't moved to that level of like, like that's a high bar, right? Yeah. And yeah. And so there's some things that I'm like, well, it's a fairly well-established behavior and I still have to focus on it to move it into a habit. Like, how annoying is that? It's like, I've already learned this. <laughs> I haven't learned it enough. Uh, okay, so now, I think that worked really well, actually. I'm, I'm super happy with the way this worked. Mm -hmm. um, so now, block should be part of location. Mm -hmm. um, so let's move that into location. So is this... Um, yeah, I agree. I just don't know the mechanism. Well, so, so what I would do first is... I want to... Can you change static. it to a, to a method again? Convert, yeah. Convert to method. So I think if we do that and then make static and then make non-static. Well, no, no. So, so let's convert it first to it. Is, is it a method now? It's a method. Okay. So now can you click on it and move it? I think that's not going to go the way we want, but. Yeah. Lo location. There we are. So what just okay. happened? <laughs> All right. That's not very interesting. Yeah, get block, location dot get block. Cool. Okay, that's good. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. But the build no longer works, right? <laughs> so okay, so here's what I think is happening. Can you go back to, to where we were? Why does that work? Like but just revert this for a second. Oh, okay. wait, is it? Wait, what just happened? Is it building right now or not? It's running. There we go. It just was being slow. Okay, so that did work. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then convert it back to property. If only there was a way for a computer to do those three steps for me. <laughs> In time. How did you automate the keyboard switching? Uh, so the first thing is we automated it imperatively, right? So we, we are not saying go to Dvorak uh, when it's Llewellyn's turn and go to QWERTY when it's not. 
we're saying switch the keyboard when it's my turn and switch it when it's not. So it, it is a little bit less ideal than I would prefer. Uh, but actually, uh, let's take a quick break and, and show us. Do you mind? Uh, I'm going to drive for a second. Mm -hmm. Uh, Python. I did this on Sunday, and it's already the fifth <laughs> repo we've worked on. Um, okay, so we use something called uh, auto hotkey and here, and all we're doing in this is a really simple command that says uh, send control shift, right? We had to separate it so mm -hmm. that we did control down, shift down, shift up, because we couldn't get it to work the other way. Um, so this basically just hits control shift, which will switch your keyboard. And then I have a rotate Llewellyn and the person who was after me was Oliver. So rotate Oliver. And then we're taking advantage of a secret menu item in our mob timer that allows us to put an environmental variable uh, to run a script, and specifically to run a script with somebody's name. So when it's Llewellyn, it will run the rotate Llewellyn bat. Mm -hmm. and when it's Oliver, it will run the rotate Oliver. And when it's someone else, it won't find the script, and therefore it won't run anything. Mm -hmm. And basically, that's it. Yeah, auto hockey. That's the one. Okay. All right. All right, back to our regularly scheduled program. All right. My complaint was... Uh... Resharper has the has a move, but it doesn't work on properties. Yes. It feels like I have to like jump well, over. This feels like that thing in Street Fighter where, you know, like you learn to punch and you learn to block, and then you would learn mm -hmm. combinations. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Resharper allows me to have like you, like if I'm regular programming, Resharper moves me up a level. But then when I'm at the level that I'm comfortable with Resharper, the next level is combinations of Resharper. Right, where it's like, hey, when you do these things in quick succession, it's it's more powerful than the sum of its parts. And then hopefully, as we start developing those combinations, where sharper starts improving, and and saying, okay, well, we'll just take that combination and turn it into a a button, and then we can work on, okay, well, now with these new buttons, what are the combinations that we can do? Right, so like we should always be one level above. Where sharper is. Yeah. All right. So we got uh, is same row, is same column, is cell block. All of these are things that we should move onto location. Yeah. Um, and, but I'm, I don't like the way that this is doing it. So let's do a separation. So can you? Ex I want to ask one, one thing before we move on. Mm -hmm. So there's a hazard that we've introduced to our code that's really subtle. And I don't want to build for something we don't need, but I also don't want to leave the hazard behind. And the hazard is this location should have value semantics, but it has reference semantics. So if you if you have two location objects and you ask, are these the same? It'll say false. Oh, even right. Even if the row and column are true. Right. Or if you put them as keys in a dictionary, you put them in a hash yeah, set. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, 100% they should. Just add those. It's a quick fix. Okay. Oops. Uh, key not does not do. do. I'm going to push this key again, but I think it's not going to work. Yeah. No. Wow. Okay. So I guess I can't hit Alt Insert. Where is it? That's code, isn't it? Uh, no, it's not. Maybe tools? Edit. Try edit. There we are. Generate code. Down three. Yeah. And uh, quality members. Roll this down. is what records oh. gets you that we really want. Yeah. I mean, we may as well take all of that. Do we want to? Uh, we're not even calling them. It doesn't matter. What? Uh, I equatable is kind of extra. So we. it's not a hazard. If we don't have I equatable, and then okay. we don't need it. Okay, cool. That's but we have that's equals cool. and we have hash now, right? Yeah, equals equals get hash code, equal equal not equal. There we go. Ah, God damn C sharp. This should not 
This should just come for free. Yeah. It should be the opposite of equals. Okay. Well, I mean, the other way that this would work really nicely is if there was just a, like, rather than saying record the way they have it here, is just have a record object that you can extend, like equatable, extends equatable or something. And, yeah. And that just does these things and maybe even a decent two string. Um, but, yeah. That's complicated, but I'm not saying that I disagree with you. It's not that complicated. Um, I mean, you can do it in two different ways, right? Like one is um, you can do it reflectively, yeah. um, which is unfortunate and a little bit slow, but but very doable. And then the other is you could hotspot fix that. But yeah. anyhow. Um, or you could just build that into the default object. Except for I guess that'd break backwards compatibility in some weird ways. Anyhow, All right. uh, let's, let's scroll down. Let's commit this. So oh, yeah. we've added equality in Git hash code. This is a refactoring. Yeah, and a feature. Uh, it's And a feature. It's a feature of a class, but it's not a feature of yeah. the program. And it's not called. Yeah. So it's not tested, but it doesn't break any tests. And our tests for our system are comprehensive. If, if you type that, I would be more worried. Thanks for helping and me now it needs to edge. go into its own file. Okay. Because now too big. All right. So now this is saying all these things. Uh, so what I want to do here is on 49, I want to separate cell two dot location into its own variable. So location. Because you don't want to pass in a cell, you want to pass, I want in, a to pass location. in a location. Yeah. Okay. We, and I actually so don't gonna... mind asking this of the cell at the moment, but we'll get to that in a second. Okay. And then, so you're doing extract variable and then extract method and then move. Yeah. You can extract method and then introduce parameter and, and then move. Yeah. I, I don't know if one's better than the other or just there's options. Yeah, that's true. Well, let's do this. What we're about to do three times. So we'll try both and see which one we like more. Okay, cool. So 50, extract that method to is cell block. And then move that, uh, yeah, and commit and then move it into location. It's really is same cell block, right? Yes. Oh, move and then we Yeah, how come column and row? Yeah. yeah whatever. Apparently we were so lazy is, on that. Only one of our viewers had caught us. <laughs> right. All right. And what, then, what do you want to inline now? Yeah, I totally want to inline that now. You want to inline this? Yeah. Uh, and now let's do the second one, and let's do it the way you suggested. Okay. So we'll extract it first. Is See, the problem is I, I think right now you're going to run into a... Mm, yep. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Well. All right. <laughs> so extract it as local first. Should there be a, an extract method onto object refactoring? I don't think so. No. I mean, we, I do this plenty of times, so I kind of want it, but it's just like I don't need composed refactorings in my tool. Just give me handy keystrokes and quick tools. Yeah. Especially if it would commit for me, I could go. That would be great. Yeah, something that could tell like. Hey, remember to do the thing you already noticed. <laughs> Thanks, Avatai. That was fantastic. <laughs> All right, and then we'll do it finally for is same row. Oh, man. 
They say my role is intelligent input device. I'm not feeling very intelligent right now. <laughs> More input device. Yeah, you know, we'll take what we can get. It's a Wednesday morning. Okay, and so now we want to inline is well inline those variables and then inline those methods. All three of these methods don't belong on cell. I need a keystroke to move the focus to this window here. Uh, I, I do it with mouse. And, and it would speed me up if I knew a keystroke for that. But maybe I have to make my own binding. Anyway, you want me to inline these? Inline three all three of those, yeah. Okay, do them all as one go. Yeah, go for it. I, I feel like it's a conceptually atomic. Thanks, Llewellyn. Although, you... to be honest, like if it was automatically doing this, I would, I'd be very happy with it like each of those being separate commits, right? So it's really, it's the speed of this that's... Yeah, I agree. Uh, so I just want to see the consequences of what we've done. Yep, so this right here is saying very quickly that like, hey, we don't want to sell, we want two locations. Yeah, okay. All right. So let's scroll up and see what else we have that's the, oh, this one. That two string, that definitely should be in location as well. Okay. Because Make, look at that, that's not taking value into account at all. So we're not getting rid of it here. We're just duplicating it into location. Yeah. Do you, I kind of I want to extract method and move it. So I have this two string called that two string. Sure. I, the, okay. I would just copy and paste it right now. Okay. I, I hear what you're saying, but there's actually this two string I kind of feel is wrong at the moment. Um, it's wrongish. There's already a two string in here, right? No, is there, there isn't because equality doesn't do two string. Just paste. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I think it's already on my clipboard. That's what I should yeah. use. And then get rid of the word location. There we go. All right. And so now that I've pasted, can I call it here? Yeah, you should be able to. And that actually would be a good thing to do at the moment. Like this is um this is an unnecessary uh use of format string, but I, I like the way it expresses the idea. <laughs> that I'm formatting fair, a string fair that is based on that thing. So I'm okay with this. Yeah. So commit that. This is an extract method. To index. That should, and from index. From index is slightly complicated, but let's do to index first because that's easy. And then from index. Now, this, do me a favor and just copy this for the moment. The whole method? Yeah. And we'll, in, we'll not in here, put it into the location. This should be a better way of doing what I'm about to do, but this will be good enough. And here, say, new location, column row. Uh, no, no, no. You, you have to do the math. So oh, that, that's the thing you're going to return. Row column, yeah. Return that. And delete. And to take the value and get rid of that. And this returns a location. Okay. And now let's use this. So now let's go back to where we were. And here, 
Well, so you're going to have to pull, yeah, location. Actually, I like this anyways. No, no, just say uh, location dot from index. And pass it to index, get rid of 21 and 22, and create that constructor. Change type? No, there's five other references. We need to make a new one. Create constructor, so yeah. There we are. And then this. No, 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 it's the opposite. You want to go fix this one to call our that new one. one. Exactly. Okay. So this is, uh, no, this is just this dot location. Yeah. And Could have value, done the smaller value. We should have extracted a constructor yeah, yeah, from yeah, yeah. the it's first good. one. It's good. Okay. That should pass. If that passes, commit. Uh, what, what all did we capital do? R. It's definitely capital R. There was typing involved there. Uh, from index. Uh, move from index, yeah, to location. We should have done this as extract constructor and then do it. Sure. But now have the other constructor call the other constructor. <laughs> Nah, uh, no, not too fast. Is there? Yeah, there isn't. This new location, yeah, value, and then get rid of the insides. Yeah, that's that's way better. Let me inline this. Well, so now. There's so many interesting things that I want to do. So now, so okay, so now I feel like we've done this. Um, yeah, that's good. Oh, oh, I want to try it with automation. It's not going to work, is it? I don't know. Uh, what are you going to do? I want to inline. I, I want to inline this. I can't. The, you can't inline it. You can't inline it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that's what I want to do. Yeah. And even I, if it... Totally valid. I, I get what you're saying. Constructors are seen as different than functions. They're just functions. <sighs> okay, whatever. All right. Um, so this is returning an innumerable cells. Can we go see where... So what I want to start doing right now so we've separated it, right? But what we haven't done is use location where we only need to use location, right? And the only mm -hmm. thing that's really, really missing here is this uh, for board, but also basically any place in the cell that takes the value zero. So what, what I kind of want to do right now is take away the default value mm -hmm. of zero and do a program by red. No, uh, oh, that's oh, interesting. Okay, we've that got some there and some here. Let's do it from index first. Okay. Before we do that, I want to inline this. I don't need that. Yeah, yeah, I'm good with that. Okay. So what broke right now? Show me the red. Does this keystroke work? No. <laughs> you can just show error list. That's legit. Cell with description. Can we go see that cell with description? Cell, cells, 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 cells. It's all location. So I think we should revert and then convert this thing to use location. I like that. But the question is, do we want a cell here or do we want a location here? Because it also gives us the cell. I think we just want a location, but let's find out by scanning through this list. Location. Oh, uh, here it is. 
See, there's a the use of the cell and cell description. So it uses the cell, but does it? Is exactly. Well, let's go, let's go the oh. other way. Go back to that cell with location or with description. So the only use of this cell is cell location. So I, I suspect here. we, here, okay, so one here, of... let's hold on. So let's let's stay here. Oh, okay. Wherever you just were. And here on line, like extract, well, wherever you were. This one. Here, this takes the cell. So here, extract that to a variable. Parameter. Parameter is even better. Parameters. Yep. It can safely be removed. Yes, yep. that's what I want. Perfect. Commit that. Let's go find more of that. So here, right above that, we have a cell. Nice. So now let's go above that. Oop, something's broken. Undo. Uh, wait. Yeah. No. Okay. Do we just have a resharper refactoring fail us? Mm hmm. For shame. I agree. I, are we building right now? No, not even now. Got to go back even further. Okay, let's go back to green and be responsible refactorers. Yeah. Okay. So now let's go find that cell with description. Or no, use the of it place where a cell is being used. It's, um, Basically, we can do a search for any place cell is being used. Yeah. So this goes to here, yeah. and this is only using location. So here, introduce that as a parameter. And for right now, don't remove that. I think this breaks. This... I no longer think this breaks. All right, commit that. And why is it not, why is cell not gray? I can't tell you. All right, re re remove it. Yeah. Okay, commit that. So now let's go to whoever calls is digit possible. Yeah, we have six callers. So we'll go to one of them. So this just needs, okay, so that, let's do the same thing. I want to try this now that things yep. are working, but go I'm not. Go for it. Okay. Let's find out. But we are not committing until we see a build. Yeah, that broke. What did it do? That is so wrong. I don't know. I don't care. Revert. Yeah, revert. Now introduce. Hands are off the keyboard. I'm waiting for the build. The build is failing. All right. Well, that's fun to know. Let's go see where it's failing. Wait, is it failing? Oh, we was just being slow again. Oh, computers are so hard. Okay. We need a faster computer. Okay, so now we have 
this coming from location. Now let's get rid of cell. See a build. I'm waiting. I know. I appreciate that. All right, go find me another place where cell is. This camera down just a little, so my hands don't have to go up so high. Okay. It looks like we got something remove possibilities. Sorry, where, where do you want me to go next? Uh, cell dot index. Or... Wait, wait. Go, go see cell. Oh, that's cell with description. We have it still a lot seems like here. that is really just location. Yeah. Can we, can we inline go? So go to cell with description. Inline uh, all three of those. Index, row, and column. Okay, I, I'll do that. But we started with one method and fixed one of its callers and then went to another method and fixed one of its callers. Do you want to finish those two methods callers first or you want to do this first? I want to do this first. Okay. But I don't have a good reason why. didn't go anywhere. Line method. Yeah. Since there, there we go. And do all three of them, row and column. All at once? Yep. It's okay. it's a move. I'm uh, wanting to wait for the build even though this is something. Oh no, I'm we're waiting sure for the build. Do. It it was happy uh, this is a refactoring that I trust more. Yep. But, I'm but right anyway. now I'm shaky all over. Yeah. But it's it's about me, not about the computer. Yeah. Okay. So now let's go back to where we were. Because now it will give us a chance to see location in other places. Okay. So uh, back to where we were. So here we have, yeah. this is really just asking for a location. Oops. So inline location again. Sharper, if you're listening, I want end crunch. I want to say, no, sorry, Sharper. End crunch. I want commit when end crunch passes as a feature. Right. Yeah, on. but I also I want Sharper. Uh, if we are fully committed before the refactoring, and you do the refactoring, auto commit. Yes. And I don't even care about Sharper. The okay. I, I um, wouldn't mind it if we sharper and Crunch got along a little better. I wouldn't mind that either. Uh, can you swap those two locations after you do this? Yeah. Because it really should be location values. That's a way to do this. See, it's mm -hmm. like a... It's a change signature, which I want to say is refactor C. I'm pushing Control-Shift-Alt right now, and I get this. Nah. Just, just right-click and say change signature. Read it, Llewellyn. It says H and L. Oh, it's gone away now. What? H and L to move parameter location. Okay, it try work. it. <laughs> I'm, I'm pushing it. <laughs> I'm saying change signature, man. That, that's uh, what you want to do. It's got transform parameters, that, that which works. is like way more. Of a, it's too big an Can idea. you move it up and down? Can you just drag those? No, let's try this. Change signature. Change there we go. Yeah. That, I'm okay. sure we can do this. Click on that, move it down. Change signature is too broad a concept. I really want, like, just move left. <laughs> Actually, I'd, I would like that. I'd love to be able to just take a parameter and say move it to the left or right. All right. What are we looking for now? More dot locations? Yep. So this is, again, a cell that we just want the location. I 
I feel like Sudoku was... board is going to have a lot of places where it just wants the location. Oh yeah. Right. We're going to be this for a while. Yeah. We've, we've dug ourselves a deeper hole than we wanted, but we're digging ourselves out. I knew I wanted a location object like five minutes after we created a cell. <laughs> I should have listened to you more. I, I don't know if it's that, like, why didn't I insist? Uh, yeah, this has been something that's been nagging us for a while and we've just been ignoring. Yeah. I mean, possibly there's like some subconscious part of us that just wanted another hour of Twitch. <laughs> I want to check this checkbox, see what happens this time. Yeah, good luck. Is that what they call? Yeah, let's see that it's blowing up again. <laughs> is that what they call insanity? Yeah, I think it is. It doesn't handle the remove well. That is pretty yeah. sad. Yep. No. Not the right thing. If you want, you can do the two things at a time and do a commit. I feel confident in that at the moment. But I do not feel confident Asian. in checking that box. Sure. Wait a second. There's no usages of this method. Oh, get possibilities? Why am I even trying to? But here this says one reference. Okay, Resharper, you're confused. Does, yeah, so where's the one reference? Click on it. That seems legit. That's a reference. Uh, so what right, happens if you do an inter introduce? No, now it'll work. It's just guess possibilities was gray. And yeah. it, it took until now. Maybe the gray. build it was out of place because of the, we tried hitting that box. Yep. Because now my clipboard can hold a string. <laughs> That's good. We have no clipboard history on this. We should install an app for it. Can we go really quickly to sell with possibilities? We'll go at any speed it takes. That should be a location, not a cell. I suspect that's true. Who's calling that? So, oh, well, no, it's using value. Value. Right. But, but it's still, I think you're still right. Nah, I'm good with it. We'll, we'll keep it for now. Here's why you're still right. The cell has a value of zero. Yeah. So, yeah, and I, I agree with what you're saying about what I'm saying. <laughs> but if we do that, then we have to do the with value onto a location. So we need to sort of switch that to like a create cell. Um, so which, this needs to become a zero. No, no wait, what? Known. What was that right now? That's what this needs to be. Oh. My tests disagree with you. Okay. Undo, undo what would, did it used to be? It was cell dot value. Yeah, no, that, that's definitely not zero because we're doing a cell with value of possibilities first. Okay, whatever. Wait, wait where is that cell being used? Okay, so first of all, Well, yeah, no, actually, this is this is fine. Um, yeah, just keep that for now. This is not the thing that matters. Go find something more interesting. That looks like a location, not a cell. Where is that coming yeah. from? From 
uh, indexes to uh, so I'm lost. Where is C? Oh, we pass a lambda to this thing that takes a cell. So what we're saying is this lambda, could it switch from cell to location? So the question is, we don't know if it's a location with description. And there's 30 references to fix. Let's go back to where we were for a second. Let's just keep it as a cell with description. Um, but we're here because we're grouping, but yeah, no, just keep that. Yeah, let's find something easier. Find so, oh, so what I really want is where the border is a um, a parameter. So what I want is cell as a parameter. So, so okay, um, this from index is doing an unknown, and then a set value, so. This could become a location from index. But are we passing it in anywhere? Well, we're passing it here, but we're so passing we, it with Yeah, go unknown. get count for block. That's the thing I want to look at in puzzle. Oh, no, it's not. All right, go back. So I, I, want, I want cell being passed across a border. Sorry, I lost my place again. So be, what do you mean a border? So I, I want where someone is, or cell is a parameter. Do you log your, I really want this in tool. <laughs> we do not do that. Uh, that's a great idea. Is, um, is being on a video recording not the same as logging? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it is. I don't think it's as searchable. Uh, okay. We should probably make a, like a public Google doc of, Things I want from R Sharper. I think this wants to be. I want both of those though. Okay, for now. For right now. I'll allow it. Yeah. But now let's go see every place where cell is called. Going with Sharper, you're not thinking. I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. If, if anybody knows someone from JetBrains or working on Resharper, ask them to log in. So there's only two calls to set value. So it's worth checking what they do. Like this one is a cell from index. So I think that means it can become a location unknown. Why does that not work? Because this thing's private. No, it's a different. Yeah, never mind. Uh, and it, sh it shouldn't be. It should be location value. Yeah, oh man, you're so right. So I get for refactoring on my own. Now kill cell. And hey, it even turns out in the right order. Yeah. Make that public. And now let's go. Have we committed? Yeah, the only thing that's new right now is to make public. Okay. Here, I'll show you the diff. That's, that's fine. That's good. Okay. I trust. Okay, so now that said value is going to be cell dot location, comma unknown. Yeah, and okay, so that's valid. So that's and then up at the top where we say cell, that's now going to be location from index on seventy nine. And then that's just location. And Hold on, let's do this in steps. Oh, we can't. You can't, just location. 
location, get rid of the word cell. Location, location, location. Oh. Or, I said we can't, but. Yeah, so those are good places to, to do the issues. But those are, that's for mob time and mobster. And there is a good place to do it for IntelliJ. It's just, we don't. Maybe that is something we should do. What is that saying? Like, uh, a bug report is the lowest form of committing to to a project i thought complaining on twitter no i guess <laughs> yeah, complaining on twitter is even lower <laughs> so where does complaining on twitch fall then <laughs> to our audience of two um okay so here's the last remaining call to the set value that takes a cell and i i think i want to inline it so where is the value getting set for this cell? It comes out of this, like it's a legit cell object. Yeah. That part doesn't bother me. Okay, here, here's what it would look like. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah, cell location, I'm totally good cell with value. that. Okay, and then we don't need that set value anymore. We can delete it. I'm good with that too, but you undid the thing, yeah. I, I did to do it all at once. All right. Uh, did, okay, yeah, that's good. All right, so uh, let's go take a look at where cell is being used some more. You want to look for more cell dot locations? Uh, yeah, you're right. I want to look for more cell dot. Okay, not those. Find me new ones. Not those. Okay, in this file, we don't have any. Find it in the project. Yeah. Uh. But it's not going to be. Yeah, it's probably going to be like that. But that that's fine. I still want to. I still really want. Is there a way to search for cell as a parameter? Yeah, sure. Oh, yes. That gets one. Cell location, cell location. This is all location. So you can introduce yeah. location on both of those. And we got it in the thing right above it too, which. That's location yeah, that's one. That's location one. And the I do both at the same time? Two. Yeah, I do all of it. And then and remove cell one, cell two. And apparently we got a 101 to get rid of. So we'll do that after this because that's a definitely a different thing. So line 101, that state no longer being used. And then here, we're passing in a cell one, cell two, and we're only using the location. So. Again. Yep. Same thing. So tempted to push that button. To... I think this will work. Oh, you think it'll work now? It's failed the yeah. first 15 times, but now I'm feeling lucky. Okay, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Here's what I'm noticing is that cell one is now grayed out. And yeah. it wasn't grayed out in the previous yeah. failing cases. But yeah, is, is it worth it to me? It's not worth it. A refactoring that I can trust over a refactoring where I have to verify I'll take the refactor. I'll take two refactorings I trust over a refactoring I have to verify like any day. And I mean, the reason you want to do that is because it's more efficient, but it's not more efficient if you have to double check it. 
Okay, so I know what to search for now. Search for comma cell space. For second prints. Paren cell is yeah. first print. Yeah. In any other place, it's going to be comma cell. No, no paren. Comma cell okay. space. What did I just do? Okay. I don't know. Comma cell. Uh, no, there's no space after the comma, is there? Oh, yeah, there is. There you go. Okay, so that one we don't care about. Go back to the other one. There's only two more things where cell is being used. Here. Okay, so that cell. Uh, it just index one. Yep, okay, so introduce that. And we have another cell there. Well, index two. Named this that location cell is one. That's on the on sixty four. Get this on my clipboard. It's extract ram plus ram times two. And I bet the call site wants some attention. I think uh, Visual Studio has clipboard history too, doesn't it? It does, but it's not going to work. Uh, okay. Where it's not going to work over here. It's an editor feature. Uh, not a window feature. I, th I think that's true. Let's see. So there so is, this is resharpers. So now if you do it in there, do you get the nothing. same thing? No. Ah, bummer. All right. So um, now do that search one more time. Is there, there's no more place where cell is being passed in? Only this one place. Okay. That's great. So now let's find out where cell is being constructed. New cell. Okay, so this is more places. So scroll we down. We don't want these. Just, yeah. New cell. Yeah. So let's go to some of those. So here, get rows. That these should be locations. They should. And now something's going to break. So go find out what just broke. Okay, that one's easy. Good. What else is broken? Uh, yeah, so I have to make this thing take the right thing. Yeah. So, so what, what we're missing in that search was things that took innumerables. <laughs> so, so arrow bracket cell is the thing that we're missing. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, this is like reasonable thing to do. I just wonder how much it's going to blow up. Uh, so let's revert, and we'll take we'll take it in smaller steps. So let's do a search. Well, let's just start here. So here. So here we could do a dot location. Can we do a dot location? Yeah, we can. That's nice. Okay, so commit that because progress is progress. And then, but we're returning a tuple of cell. Well, no, so this looks like it's an actual cell because yeah. we, we have a digit. So that's, that's but valid. Block is locations. This currently says list of cell, and it wants to be a okay, list of so locations. Okay, so list of locations. So let's do that. So this thing needs to become a location. No, no, no. Too, too big of a step. Well, no. Okay. I think this is going to be okay. Yeah, I, th but... I think that's okay. Okay, so let's get rid of the here. 
and here and here and then go back up it's going to be so much better uh, and then here we've got these things these are lists of locations yeah though and those should absolutely be list of locations yeah because a it's static so now all of those should be locations what? yeah sure I like that. This might work. I love it. And yay var. That made that refactoring much simpler. I can't all our code be just var. Can we, can we go to cell for a sec? I want to go to the class cell. Now I want to remove the default value on. And what breaks? Nothing. Cool. We can get rid of comment number eight, too. Is there a. Um... Refactoring for what we just did. Just Remove default value. I mean, like, this is trying too hard. Yeah, it's trying too hard. We, we can lean on the compiler for that. And let's lean on the compiler again when this is done on line 23. Good. Let's go see where that's coming from. Uh, All I'm, right. So I think, I want to revert. Okay, revert. And do it a different one. Okay. Because we're almost out of time in this one that's bothering me. Sure. And that's why did I? Is this it? This. Yeah. This is saying new cell, and then it's taking the row and column, and it can take location, right? Uh, Isn't that a thing we can no, do? No, wait, undo for a second. So here, where's this row and column coming from? Block wait, is a list of locations. So oh, you're cell... saying that this is a location? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. just delete the, yeah, go uh, back. This thing's not public, that's the problem. So we should be able to delete everything location. from the doc. Totally should be a valid refactoring. Okay. And it might be time to switch to our retro. retro. Is there I anything? I think you're right, but can we do a search before we do that? Mm -hmm. And do a search for angle bracket cell? Uh, you know, you can't do a... Wait. Did you close the angle bracket? Just open it. Yeah. So. There's still, like, I don't think we've taken care of cell yet. There's more, like here, if you look at that tuple, get cells which are only possible in a block. Like, that probably is a location. Go check states and indexes and values. States, uh, oh, where? Right there. Let's see what the thing gets used. So here we have a get random element. Cell, 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 location, location, location. Yep. Yep. And so these are probably. Um, yeah. Instead of cell. I'm hearing the thanks from future us. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. All right, <laughs> let's uh, let's do a. So there's a lot of things that are going through my head right now. Um, 
but the the big one is should we have done this sooner and i feel like the answer is yes right like We've mentioned this multiple times. This is not the first time we mentioned that. But there were like other mm. things that we wanted to deal with earlier. Um, when should... So, okay. So, if the answer is yes, then the secondary question... There are two secondary questions to that. The first is, why didn't we? And the other is, when should we have? And then maybe the next question is, defend your yes. I'd like I'm I'm not I'm not actually disagreeing with you, mm -hmm. but I, I would like to see the reasoning. Okay. What's your reasoning on the yes? Uh, so this idea where cell has this dual responsibility, um, it, it propagated through so many places, and so now doing this cleanup is a ton of work. Yeah. Okay. So let let's put under the yes, we are cleaning up our own mess. Like up until uh -huh. this point, we've been cleaning up other people's messes. But right now we're cleaning up our own mess. Yeah. And like one that really catches my attention is this, uh, the way that cell with description takes a funk of a cell. Like that is, it's kind of a clever construct. And so unpacking that to be location is going to be harder than the others. Yeah. We'll, we'll do it. But it's just, right, it's though. not just like this trivial thing that we've been doing. Um, so yeah, this just, it hits so many places and there's still more. Yeah. We spent an hour plus today on this and we're still, we still have more cells that should be locations. Okay. But then let, let's put a counterbalance of a no. Okay. Which is, it's only cost us an hour, right? Like it's a credit card and we're paying it off. We're definitely paying off the interest, mm -hmm. but it did allow us to ignore this issue for a long time. Um, there could be value in that. Like maybe this wasn't the most important thing. I mean, I still agree with you. I think, I think it's a yes. Mm -hmm. um, I think we spent our, we used our credit card badly here. So we did a lot of um, refactoring that was introducing new domain objects yeah. that were useful in cleaning up the code. Yeah. And we did a lot of cleaning up the code using those domain objects. So those are two activities that we did. And this is a missing domain object. That we did, yeah. So it, it makes sense to me to say uh, the trade-off between introducing location and introducing some of these other types could go either way. But cleaning up more code before introducing location, I think that was the wrong <coughs> choice. So under the yes... I think what you're saying here is we obscured our intent. Right? Because cells sometimes had values and sometimes didn't. I, I think that we should have, the moment we put the default value of zero. <laughs> Like at that point, we should have been asking ourselves. Is, is this is this a good idea? Um, I'm not sure if that's the case, but I feel like it is. Um, and then so then the unanswered question here is still why didn't we? I, mean, I, I think we were, part of it is momentum. We were we were making momentum on this other thing, and this would have diverted that. It probably is something we still should have done. Like, like I, I, I'm feeling stronger and stronger on that one because I the thing about we are cleaning up our own mess, like this is bothering me more and more now that I've articulated it. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, 
All right. Uh, let's go to language. So what was that called? Like a records record. Yeah, because zero was a, we don't really care about the value. There's some zeros where we did care about the value. We're like, this mm -hmm. cell doesn't have a value right now. And there's times where we care about that. And then there's other times where we didn't care about the value. And that's why I think it was when we did the default value zero. Because I think that was the time we were like, we don't actually care about the values here. And the moment we didn't care is the time that we should have said, okay, let's mm. separate. Okay, so we got record values. Uh, there was another thing I think, oh no, not in the language, but in the tooling. Um, so, okay, so <laughs> introduce parameter and remove other one doesn't work. <laughs> that, that is a key learning of ReSharper. <laughs> uh, there is a huge desire to speed, like to remove the friction in the micro commits. That's separate in the tools. I don't think it's under that doesn't work, but. Mm -hmm. You do them a lot. Yeah. Um, we, I don't have a way of searching for cell is part of a signature. So uh, let's put that in tools. That doesn't mean there isn't a way of searching. It means I don't know it. Um, like, like you almost want to be able to do like a, a link query over the metadata. Like, mm -hmm. give me all the stuff in here. And, and maybe there is a way of doing that nice and easily, but it's, it's not something that's popping in the top of my head. Um, ah, that is so not what I meant to do. Neat. There we go. Um, the there was something else that showed up in the tools. Do you remember? Not come to. All right. Uh, domain. Cells location. versus location. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like we took cell out of a lot of uh, the Sudoku board. Is that true? Can, can we go to Sudoku board for a second and do a search for cell? So there's that one that we talked about. That's it. Yeah. And it really looks like, because that's static too. So this is definitely asking not for a cell. Mm -hmm. It's looking for location. Okay. Put a to-do on that. You know what's weird? Working with you is the only time I really like am really caring about the to dos. <laughs> uh, combining sets and sharper. Yeah, it would be nice if a sharper had like a. Oh, that is that is excellently said, Astrid. Um, so if we go back to the. Um, mm -hmm. If we go back to the thing, it'd be really nice if Resharper had a, a macro for refactorings where you could put together, like you could string together a, a combination. So In fact, we had, it's uh, introduce. Parameter plus remove parameter. 
Yeah. Uh, and it would be really nice if that was like in a shared database kind of thing where it's like they could mine them to figure out what they should be adding to the product. Or even it, like you could like on a marketplace kind of thing where like you could look up, hey, has someone already done this for me? I don't have to do it myself. Mm -hmm. um, the other day we were working in Swift approvals and the thing we built is a, a script reporter. So this is a very simple technique, but I can't believe I hadn't thought of it till now, which normally when you report in approvals, it calls you know, some sort of command line arguments. And here the command line argument it calls is just a batch file, right? And it, what it allows is for someone else to very easily create their own reporter. Yeah. Because <laughs> like, hey, I'm just going to call this batch file. Do whatever. And everyone understands batch and shell scripts. So like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, change that as you want and, and we'll, I'll call it. So. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then we, we did a little extra to actually like create a sample one. Like, so if you use that reporter and, and the shell script doesn't exist, it will create one that actually prints out, this is what parameter one was and this is what parameter two was. And, you know, so you don't have to look up the, how do I get the first parameter out of a shell script again? And is it the approved file or the receive file? It just does it for you. Um, all right. Uh, anything else we have before we close? No, feels good. It felt fast. Like our This is not a complicated idea. Something that you and I both really understand well and there's lots of mechanics. Yeah, and, and I think part of the reason we so I was listening to uh um to Corgi Bites yesterday and he was saying um you know as the high wire gets higher it gets higher slower and every time you get more skill going on the high wire so it's like when you get a new person and all of a sudden they're like oh well, i'm not going on that and you're like uh -huh. what's the big deal i do this every day <laughs> like i don't yeah. know if you ever watched that video of people climbing the like the mile high radar towers yeah but, like those things are insane like, like i'm not doing that um so so the reason is the, the reason I say it is sort of like I think we're going faster because we just have a lot more familiarity with the code as like more than anything else. Mhm. Mm uh yeah, I think that's been true for a lot of the days, but today I think it's more that taking two variables, two fields and putting them in a new class is just something that it's know, a simpler transformation. We just have to repeat it over and over again. Yeah, for for the two of us. Yeah. When yeah I, like I can tell that most code hasn't had that treatment in the world. And when I yeah. try to work with other developers, it's an unfamiliar operation. But you and I have done that a bunch. But we've done it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's valid. Yeah. All right. That's it for today then? Yeah, I thought of something but forgot it. So. No. Take a oh. moment. See if you get it back. No, it's not going to come. All right. Well, in that hey, case. I, I am grateful for the folks who showed up and made comments. Yes. That's awesome. That has been great. And and we are actually, I think, getting better now at actually reading the comments when they happen. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully that will continue. Oh, I remembered what it was. Oh, <laughs> what do we got? I'm glad, I, I'm glad I stopped trying to remember. Um, <laughs> so you, you said it felt like we were going fast. But yeah. in some ways, this was slow because it was a mess that we had made ourselves. Uh, it would have been faster to do this sooner. And it's only because we allowed it to go so long. So like, it's that feeling of, oh, I'm being really productive today, but I'm not being productive on the right thing. Like, I mean, I'm glad we're yeah. doing this, but it should, it's work that should never have existed. Yeah. Um. For me, that emotion, by the way, was like a bit of shame, mm. right? Like next time, don't do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
All right. And on that like disheartening <laughs> note, <laughs> we'll see everyone next week.